this little bit different terminology, but the terminology I use here is that a socket preservation need that a socket uh, indicates that a socket is actually present. So that's a procedure to reduce bone and soft tissue loss after tooth extraction. And a socket preservation is performed immediately after the tooth is actually extracted. Alveolar rich preservation is a little bit broader term, which also includes actually the decoronation of ankylosed teeth and the augmentation in areas where we in the future plan to have pontic, pontic areas. But why may socket preservation at all be indicated? Well, of course, you here in Sweden, it's a little south of, of Gothenburg where these famous studies, dog studies, have been performed by the, the Jan Linde group and Bao Mauricio Araujo. You, of course, know the, indication, uh, the implication of a tooth extraction on the facial bone level. But we see quite early in the healing period that where we initially have identical height of the facial and the uh, lingual bone uh, level, after two weeks, still might be the same. After four weeks in the dog, we have significant reduction of the vertical dimension of the ridge, and even after eight weeks, even more so. So a lot, we also know exactly the consequences of a missing facial bone wall. Charlotte Stilwell showed us some examples, and I guess you, in your uh, daily practice, see the consequences of missing facial bone walls. And a lot of techniques have been uh, tested to compensate uh, or to, for us to avoid this disappearance of the facial bone wall. It's been stated that the immediate implant placement will counteract the facial bone, uh, the resorption of the bundle bone facially.